Hi guys, this is Maniac Jelly. I'm going to be teaching you how to make a wire mod auto aiming turret. Now, I'm not going to lie to you, this is actually really, really complicated. So, if you're not good with my wire mod, you might not want to try this. First off, spawn a 1x1 one one PHX prop, just throw it to the ground. Now, go to your wire mod tab with your tool gun and get a wheel. I chose a tractor wheel for this. This torque 1000, friction about 20. Then spawn another one and weld, e easy weld this, but don't put it in the middle of the wheel, put it slightly offside because then the wheel you put on that prop will be in the middle. So go back to that wheel, just stick one on there, but make sure they don't touch each other unless you want to no collide them. Next, you need to get beacon sensors, put one on the upright panel, then one on the wheel make sure they face the same way like so then you need to get an arithmetic chip sign minus one zero one and put two then you need to get your wire gun out then wire the top chip to the X of the first beacon sensor and then wire the bottom wheel to the top chip. Then wire the bottom chip to the other beacon sensor's Y. And then the vertical wheel to that chip. Now you need to get your target finder. I set, I set mine in this video to target NPCs. You can change it later on if you want. Um, then you need to get out your beacon sensor tool. Right click on the beacon sensor, then left click on the target finder so that they link um, I don't quite understand how um, and if it works your wheel should move to point at it for some reason in my video the um, beacon sensor kind of inverted itself um, it's not that much of a problem you just have to put the turret and the ranger on the other way um, so I'm just gonna undo this and then show you for people who are a bit silly and didn't hear me the first time wire the top chip to the X of the first beacon sensor then the bottom yeah top chip top chip to the first beacon sensors X then the bottom wheel to the first beacon sensors and then the bottom chip to the other beacon sensors Y and then the vertical wheel to the bottom chip um, I'll be doing a tutorial on how this stuff works later and then link the beacon sensor to the target finder by getting your beacon sensor tool right clicking the whoops right clicking the beacon sensor and then the target finder now you need to get a oh, what oh yeah it's inverted my bad now you need to get a wire turret um, I'm putting on the opposite side because my thing's being stupid normally you just put it right next to the first beacon sensor um, I need to get a ranger put it right next to those turrets, oh, just remove that one Now what you need to do is get out your wire tool and wire the turret to the ranger but don't stand in front of it like I did because it will just blow your face off. Wire both turrets to the ranger um, and now if you unfreeze it, it will target and kill any NPC that you spawn. This one, my one was a bit dodgy, it was always targeting the feet of the NPC. Um, it always worked, it wasn't well done, but never mind. Um, you can reassign your target finder to target players, like I'm about to do right here. Um, 
Now this setup is great for making forts, whether it be online or in single player, to defend against zombie invasions or other players. Um, it is really accurate if you do it well. Um, yeah, enjoy.